Ready to install the IGS driver to connect iFix to your devices? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm a tech writer here at G Digital, and I'm going to walk you through the process of installing the IGS driver. In this example, we're going to install the IGS on the same machine as iFix. So you're going to start by logging into Windows with administrator privileges. And you're going to right click the IGS installer and select Run as Administrator to start the install. The Select Language screen is going to appear. So you're going to just leave the default and click OK. If a message appears requiring prerequisites, just click Yes to install them, and then click OK, and then restart the computer. And after a few moments, the welcome screen appears. So you're going to click Next, and click Accept, and then Next again. And then you're going to leave the defaults here, and then click Next to proceed. Again, leave the defaults, and then click Next. And when the shortcut screen appears, just leave the defaults and click Next. For the iFix information screen, IGS should auto-detect the already installed iFix instance. So just leave the default node name of Fix and click Next. Select the drop-down next to the communication drivers folder right here. In this example, we're just going to select entire feature will be installed on local hard drive option. Make sure everything gets installed. And then click Next again. And again. And when the user manager credential screen appears, you're just going to skip setting a password at this time. So we're going to leave this disabled as we configure our system. And then click Next. Finally, click Install. So you're just going to wait a couple moments for the install to complete, and then click Finish. Your installation is now complete. The next step is to add your IGS driver to iFix. See the next video in this series for details. Thank you for watching.